First, we have to relax the body. Progressive relaxation, section by section. So, three main areas. The eyes, the shoulders, and the abdomen. Once these three areas are you'll be able to relax, our sense of bodily weight will be able to settle downwards. We will be more grounded, rooted to earth. At that time, your breath will be the most suitable breath for meditation. What kind of breath is that? It's what we call subtle breath. Inaudible. You know, some meditators, when they sit, you can hear, their, hear them breathing. They read that they have to breathe longer, uh, deeper, so they're kind of controlling their breath to be such a way. So that's not the breath that we should have in meditation. So subtle breath means, first, inaudible. Second, by the time you have done the progressive relaxation, your breath would have settled down to approximately 9, 10 rounds of breath per minute. Even fewer, maybe 5 or 6. Third, <clears throat> your breath would have moved from here to what we call abdominal breathing. Once the body is relaxed and the weight is settled down, grounded, you will experience the rise and fall of your breath here. If any part of the body is tense, the eyes leading to the facial muscles, the shoulders, and to all the muscle group that's connected to that upper body, your breath will not be able to sink down to the abdomen. So these three qualities, subtle breath. And the way we meditate on the breath is, first, we start with the nostrils. Now, if you have a lot of wandering thoughts, and, and um, what you need to do is then count the breath right? from 1 to 10, 1 to 10, a number to each exhalation. So one number to each exhalation. If there's a lot of wandering thoughts, you can count backwards. From 20 to 2, 19 to 1. Even numbers and then odd numbers. So that's a kind of uh, something you can fall back on, counting. But really, we begin with the breath here. So. When you're meditating, you're feeling the sensation of the breath. Not only the in and out, the cool warmth, the silkiness and the coarse, the light, and the, relatively speaking, a little bit heavy more uh, turbulence, and of course, the long and the short. So, once you meditate on this, so all the different sensations here, when you meditate on this, the key is body relaxed, grounded, heart content, experiencing the breath. The key is experiencing experiencing the sensations. So it doesn't really matter what the body is doing at that time, what the external environment is doing, only sensations. Okay? Cool, warm, shallow, deep, silky, coarse, long, short, all the different sensations, until there's hardly any sensations here. So probably the first thing will go is uh, the cool 
and the warmth, leaving you with only slight turbulence, the smoothness, the light, and a little bit heavy. Until the breath is so subtle here, it's as if you don't know if the breath is going in or out. So the only way you know the breath is in or out is actually because of the sensations. At that time, you must still have a concrete method. So in that moment, what is more prominent is actually the rise and fall of the stomach. So in the beginning, more prominent is all the different sensations here. Later on, what's more prominent as this uh, kind of diminishes is the rise and fall of the stomach. So dropping from here to here. If the rise and fall are so subtle, you know, maybe four or five breaths per minute, you're breathing very grounded, very clear. At that time, you can just expand out to the whole body sitting. So the presence of sitting. At that time, your breath would have been the whole body breathing, right? all the pores. So begin here, end here, and then grounding. 